Good morning. A leading union is urging Dundee City Council to scrap 15-minute home care visits to the elderly and vulnerable. Unison claim the practice is a result of cuts to services and doesn't allow enough time to administer even the most basic care. They want councils to sign up to a charter that says time allocated to appointments should match the needs of clients. Unison Scottish Secretary Mike Kirby would also like to see a review system introduced. We think that there should be a review after a given period uh, of any of these visits that fall below 30 minutes and that that review should take place against uh, the background of the original assessment that was done of the, the, the elderly people and those at home. A man who held three women in his home in Ohio for nearly a decade has been sentenced to life in prison, plus 1,000 years. At his sentencing hearing yesterday, Ariel Castro insisted he isn't a monster, but is sick and addicted to pornography. Under a plea deal struck last week, Castro was spared the death penalty. Prosecutor Timothy McGinty says the victims are the true heroes. These women outlasted him, they survived him. We are all in admiration of them for what they did and how they withstood from day to day and survived day to day and outwitted this guy to the point where they could finally break free. The United States says it plans to shut many of its embassies and consulates in the Middle East and North Africa this Sunday after receiving an unspecified threat. State Department officials say they're taking action out of an abundance of caution. A Dundee West End councillor wants the police to use their mobile CCTV units to deter vandals. Fraser McPherson's calls come after an attack that left a number of cars parked in Anfield Street and Anfield Road with smashed wing mirrors. It took place last Friday night. Councillor Fraser McPherson says it's crucial something's done to make sure these kind of incidents don't happen again. I think it is important that there is action taken to cut down on the incidence of mindless car vandalism and I have no doubt that the police will be putting a lot of effort into apprehending those responsible for the vandalism that took place recently. Judy Murray's been to see her waddling namesake in Fife, the mother of Wimbledon champion Andy visited